Hello everyone. Welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell so you won't be left out in any video. In the wake of former President Jacob Zuma's four web page assertion, wherein he addressed topics bearing on the eagerly predicted ANC 55th countrywide optional convention in December, his seeming pronouncement that he might now no longer decline the possibility to grow to be the party's subsequent countrywide chairperson, has been laughed off. Zuma had said that the ANC changed into notably drifting from its goal mandate of serving the pastimes of the poor, and as such, leaders who have successful credentials need to be roped in to battle the soul of the motion from President Cyril Ramaphosa's faction. Besides endorsing Dr. Nkasa's Anad Lamini Zuma for president, he similarly changed into open to the opportunity of returning to the Pinnacle Six to update the incumbent Gweed Mantish, and the contemporary chairperson who changed into attending the Kasadu Congress this afternoon, laughed it off in hilarity, pointing out that it changed into absolutely the largest funny story of the year, for an 81-year antique Zuma to contest for the countrywide chairperson position. Although Zuma confirmed the preference to avail himself for the chairperson position, it seems he does not pretty have the guide that he notion he had, because the ANC KwaZulu Natal has this morning mentioned Limpopo chairperson Stan Mathabatha as its perfect candidate to contest for the position. You should argue that similarly, Mantish himself does now no longer have his destiny secured, because the Limpopo chairperson seems to be on each the dominant slates, which might be anticipated to contest on the convention, which can effortlessly see Mantish without a process in December. In any way, if Zuma had been to simply accept the nomination, in particular from his department in Nkandla, he might be debarred from contesting, because the step apart rule might kick in, as he has incredible costs bearing on the arms deal. Do you accept as true with Mantish that Zuma's preference to go back to energetic politics is a funny story, 